are from the University of Putra, Malaysia. This is Siti Aimi Serezanal Abidin. Her thesis is called Species Authentication of Meat and Meat Products Using Proteomics Approach. What that means for us, that means for me, is uh, Meat CSI, Detecting Culprit Species in Meat Products. Will you please make Aimi very welcome. Imagine you are in a restaurant and happily enjoying a chicken burger for lunch. But wait, how many of you can really tell that the meat in the so-called chicken burger you just ate is 100% chicken? Let me share with you a fact. In some meat-based products, cheaper meats could be sneakily added. This is done for one simple reason. Profit. And this is a food crime. Unfortunately, it's difficult for consumers like us to detect meat adulteration with the naked eye. For example, how many of us can tell that there is pork in the products labeled as chicken sausage or horse in beef lasagna? Because they are the same red and white meat and once they are processed, who can tell what is what? This is where my expertise in meat forensics comes in handy. My PhD focuses on detecting alien species, adulterating meat-based products using protein detection methods. In other words, I am a meat detective. How do I go about it? Okay, if you watch the popular TV series CSI, the detective will run DNA analysis in order to identify suspects. They collect evidence, at some chemicals, put it in the machine, and the result will be displayed on a computer screen, right? Well, the same concept is applied in my research, but the interesting part is I don't deal with DNA. Instead, I analyze protein. I actually design a protein biomarker, which will act like a magnet to extract protein of an alien species from a complex mixture of meat. And with the help of a mass spectrometry machine, I can tell what that culprit meat is. It works exactly like a thumbprint machine where it can recognize different patterns and unique sequences of protein from different animals. Thus, culprit species can be detected easily. So far, biomarkers for pork, chicken, beef, and lamb have been successfully developed. All these biomarkers are specially designed to assist government bodies and food control labs in solving meat adulteration cases. Now, this is good news from Muslims, Hindus, Jews, and anyone allergic to particular meat. So next time we come across any suspicious meatballs, nuggets, or meat samples, we just extract the protein, put it in the machine, and the result will pop up on the screen. Case closed. Thank you.